everyone, this is Jenny Yetto from the Pixie Post, and I'm back with another exciting video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, and if you like my content and this channel, feel free to click like and subscribe. I'd love to have you along for the journey, and there's always something different going on in this little corner of the internet. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of a different video today. I, I've been running around quite a bit. I've been a little bit tired right now, so I got some extra coffee from our local coffee place, a human being. It's an extra strength <laughs> latte. I love those things. Um, but I got outside for a little bit. I uh, tweeted a picture of one of our beautiful trees outside of my complex. And it's beautiful. It's sunny. It's 80 degree weather. But I don't know what it is about being outside. It's re rejuvenating and everything. But when you get inside and you get settled, you get really tired. I don't know what it is. So... <laughs> so anyway, um, instead of um, doing a really uh, detailed uh, video, I wanted to share a story with you. I was telling my best friend the other day about, and he's like, oh, you got to talk about that in the video. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, as for those of you who don't know me very well, um, I have a cat named Timmy, and um, I've had cats pretty much all my life, and I love animals. I think they're they're awesome sometimes I prefer to be with animals than people <laughs> I would tell you that right now and I'm sure a lot of you can relate so one time um, we had another cat named furry who lives with my next door neighbor now um, she kind of fell in love with one of my neighbor's cats <laughs> which is kind of funny um, so she ended up staying over there and I trust my neighbors you know really good friends so I know furry's safe over there um, and I still see her. I'll still visit her and pet her and stuff like that. But um, this is before we had Timmy. Um, when we had Furry, we were kind of looking to ha get another cat. Um, but we decided to go to PetSmart one day, which is practically down the street. And we were looking around, and we saw all kinds of animals. We saw chinchillas, uh, rats, lizards, hamsters, gerbils, um, guinea pigs, you know, all that. And the only pet I've ever had were cats. I never had a dog, never, you know, not that I don't like them, but I just never did. And <laughs> um, my husband's like, oh, you know what? Why don't we get a hamster? And no offense, hamsters never really excited me, but I thought, you know what? All right, I'll give it a chance because, you know, some of them were kind of cute. So we get this tan colored hamster. It was pretty big. It was like, I mean, it was big you know and uh we're like okay and we paid for it we got the supplies we got the little cake and the food and uh i remember us taking it home and it was in one of those little cardboard boxes and i thought it was really cute and i'm like oh how nice well i made the mistake of sticking my finger in there to go oh yeah the hamster bit my finger so my attitude changed immediately I pulled out my finger, it's bleeding everywhere, and I'm running to the bathroom <laughs> to wash my hand off and everything, and I'm like, that damn hamster, da -da -da, you know, so my whole attitude changed, I was not very ladylike, <laughs> and uh, my husband's laughing at me, he said, uh, yeah, you shouldn't put your finger in there, they'll get you, I'm like, oh, thanks for telling me now, <laughs> you know, I wasn't using my common sense. So anyway, I calmed down and <laughs> I was cussing and trying to wash my finger off and, <laughs> and still bleeding. I mean, it wasn't real deep, but it just bled a lot. So my husband put together the cage and uh, put the hamster wheel in and, you know, did the whole nine yards. And we had it in the living room, like right where that lamp is by the couch and the bookcase. That's The living room is different then, so that's where we had it. And uh, we're like, oh, okay, that's a cute answer. And got all settled and seemed to like it. So we had the couch um, where that bookcase is right next to the hamster thing. And I think it was like two nights later we were watching TV. And I happened to look over because I felt like something was looking at me. You know, like when you feel that stare, and but you don't know what it is. You don't see it. So I just kind of happened to look. And the hamster was on on its feet, just staring at us, and its little paws like right there. 
And he, it just stared at us. It wasn't blinking. And I'm just like, I was starting to get uncomfortable. <laughs> this hamster is like staring at me watching TV. And I nudged my husband. I said, honey, do you see this? And he's like, what? What? He was half distracted. I said, look. And he looked. And the hamster did bad night. It was just like that the whole time. <laughs> and we're both like, okay, this is kind of a little creepy. So, and with our luck, we always end up getting the weird pets or the weird stuff in our lives. It was just our luck. And we're like, okay, here we go again. So we're like, okay, fine. Maybe it's just a one-time deal. The next night, it happened again. It was literally plotting our deaths in its stare. I could tell. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I thought, okay, hamster. And we try to be extra nice to it. And it, it didn't bite us. It didn't get nasty with us. But it was just kind of that weird energy with it. Well, the next night, <laughs> I was probably over in this area. And I kept hearing bonk bonk you know like that sound and I'm like where is that coming from and I'm looking around and I thought I was freaking into something she was actually on the couch sleeping and I looked and all of a sudden I looked where the hamster was he was running in his wheel like he's supposed to <laughs> but there was this little metal bar where um, I, I'm not sure where it's there it's just part of how it's set up and he kept running and hitting his head <laughs> in the bar. And usually a hamster, I would think, would move or shift directions or something so it doesn't keep banging his head against it. Not this hamster. <laughs> this hamster was, uh, I don't know what, but um, it would run. You hear bonk, run bonk i was just standing there like am i really seeing this right now and i thought well, maybe it's just me and it i i don't know so tim my husband comes in the room and i said hey am i seeing what i think i'm seeing and he, he looks and he's like oh my god we got the stupidest hamster on earth and it just kept running and running and running and it, it didn't get hurt it didn't fall over <laughs> you know i thought it's gonna knock itself unconscious it didn't and then it just settled in this little area and went to sleep or something i don't remember exactly but i was like what the hell and i thought and i thought i kept giving me the benefit of the doubt i thought well maybe maybe you're having a stupid day i don't know um and this continued for weeks my family came out of town from new york to visit and i had been telling my brother about the the dumb hamster that we have that does it and he's like yeah right okay because we're always joking and pulling each other's chains he's like yeah okay Jen, whatever and and when he came over the hamster started doing it and i said look look i'm telling you look at this and he heard the bonk <laughs> and he kept looking at the hamster he's like oh my god you're right and even my parents were like what is going on? And I said, I don't know. I think the more it does it, the more brain damage it has, apparently. But, you know, we checked the hamster. It wasn't bleeding. It was fine. <laughs> it acted okay, except staring us down, plotting our deaths. So if that weren't bad enough, my husband had this bright idea of getting these little tiny Asian dwarf hamsters. And they're adorable. But you have to get a whole bunch of them because I guess they like the companionship. Um, except... For the two males fighting over female. I saw that before. That was not pretty. So, so if you ever get those kind of hamsters. Make sure you have a female for each male. Because they fight to the death. And that was freaking scary. So anyway, I digress. So anyway, uh, my husband's like, you know, we can't take care of all these hamsters. And I thought, okay, I have to get all these little hamsters. And God love my husband. I mean, he was great, but it's just sometimes, you know. And he, he's like, well, we're not really liking this big hamster. I said, oh, my God, don't kill it, you know, because I didn't know. And he's like, no, no, I wouldn't do that. He said, but there's, you know, our water source. It's like a little, not a lake, but just kind of like little water puddles that, um, you know, are sustainable outside behind where we live. And he said, you know, I could just let it free out there. <laughs> it gets worse, believe me. And uh, he said, uh, 
it, it was a fryer. <laughs> and and uh, I was just like, okay, you know, cool. But we have 20 million cats around this complex. Um, aren't the cats going to get at it and eat it? And he's like, I doubt it. <laughs> so I said, okay, fine. So we, oh, and so we let it out. And it's probably like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So And it was it was in the middle of it. You know the summer so i mean it wasn't cold or anything so he goes and it's like five units down so it's far away from where we are so he lets it go and you know it was fine it just kind of ran off and uh, he came back and we and we prepped the, the cage for the little hamsters and you know, they're getting all settled and squeaking and they're so cute and he said okay let me get rid of the big cage so he got rid of everything threw it away and I, I kind of felt a tiny bit bad, but I thought, okay, the hamster will be fine, and he can be psychotic elsewhere. And a few hours later, it, it was getting dark, and I was going to turn the patio light on. And I, I kept hearing some noise, and I'm like, what the heck? And, you know, there could be nothing out there because we have a high fence closing the patio in, so nobody could get in there except for a cat, maybe. So I thought, oh, maybe a cat's out there. So I looked. Turned the light on. Our hamster was on the patio. No! Yeah. And I'm like, how the hell did our hamster get here? And it had to have traveled five units away from us to our patio. Somehow found a way to burrow in the fence. How did he know it was our house? Things that make you go, hmm. So we're both like, what the hell? He looked and he's like, oh my God, I kind of feel bad now. <laughs> and we're both like, well, what do we do? We already got rid of his cage and you know, now he comes back. <laughs> like He said, well, if it's still there in the morning, we'll figure it out. And we'll just, worst case, we'll get another cage. He was actually going to take it back in, but he didn't want to do it right away because he's like, well, you know, we'll see. So by the next morning, it was gone. So it probably found another way or got eaten. I don't know. I hope not. So um, needless to say, we never got a big hamster ever again. And then with the little Asian dwarf hamsters, they turned out pretty good. We got uh, several pounds of them because they kept having babies. And we didn't know when the females was pregnant. She had a whole load of babies when we were both at work. So <laughs> it was like, oh, my God. And... Uh, uh, the last time they got loose, uh, shortly before he passed on, he <laughs> he couldn't find them. And I came home from work because he was off that night. And he said, um, the hamsters got loose. And I said, again? And so we're looking, we're looking. I think we found one, but it was kind of not in good shape. So, But we never found them again. And even after he passed on, I always had that in the back of my mind, like, God, I hope I don't find a dead hamster somewhere. And never found them. And we have no idea where they went, how they could have gotten out of the house. So it's a mystery. It's like the Bermuda Triangle around here, I guess. So, so who knows? My best friend got such a kick out of this. So I thought I'd share it with all of you about how wonderful it is to have a hamster. And uh, if you do get a hamster, they can be nice. But make sure they're not psychotic. Make sure they don't bonk their head on a hamster wheel. And remember, they do have radar to come back home if you let them out. So that's the moral to that story. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys like this. It's just a silly little video today. And I will have uh, the full moon card reading out this weekend. It probably won't be till Sunday when we have our solar eclipse. So watch out for that. Um, we are going through a huge shift in the world right now, as well as from the 3D reality to the 5D reality. And I'll explain more about what the differences are and what that's all about. So until the next time, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste. But um, when my husband was alive, he and I wanted to, and there's a freaking bee flying around. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I'm allergic to them. Okay, anyway. Who's up? And yeah, it's, it's hanging around. Yeah, hi, B. I'm part of Hive, don't worry. Yeah.
I think it's just hanging out. It's chilling. It's cruising. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, um, what's it gonna say? 